Well, researchers at the Institute of Living received a multinational research award to look at the health effects of social isolation on patients who are diagnosed with schizophrenia. Joining us today to talk about this important research is Dr. Godfrey Perlson. He is the director of the Olin Neuropsychiatry Research Center and the research director also at the Institute of Living. Doctor, thanks for being with us. Of course. Very nice to be here. So what are some of the impacts of schizophrenia and psychotic disorders on patients? Well, a, a big impact is social isolation. Um, because patients tend to often be suspicious of others because they can be paranoid, they have reduced energy and motivation that's part of the disorder. And the stigma in the community um, with individuals often being fearful or rejecting of people who are not like them. Um, Social isolation is, is one consequence. Other consequences are other things that impact health, Un, unhealthy eating and obesity, yep. lack of exercise, high blood pressure and high cholesterol, and cigarette smoking Okay, uh, are all commonly things that affect people with psychotic illnesses I um, make as sure a result get... directly of the illness or, or of its treatments. Yeah, I want to make sure that uh, we only have a minute left. So I want to ask you some of these questions, but tell us about the research award you got. Okay, so um, it's well known that social isolation can be as unhealthy as smoking 30 cigarettes a day. People with psychotic illnesses tend to die 15 years earlier than you'd expect them to. Social isolation is a big ne but neglected part of that that we want to address. So what we're doing is going back and finding people treated at the Institute of Living over the last 30 years who are now in their 60s and seeing if we can measure social isolation, if we can remedy it, uh, get people to have more community contacts and as a result be more healthy and live longer. Yeah, and uh, how will it effectively change the way we treat patients? It'll take social isolation into account more and think of ways that we can address it both as physicians but also as a community just to reach out to people with these illnesses who may be neighbors or people who are friends of friends or relatives uh, and be aware that social isolation can really affect health and, and needs intervention. Yeah, that's so important, especially if we can control it. That would be great. Doctor, thank you so much for sharing your wisdom with us today. Okay, you're more than welcome.